Hello everyone, welcome back to the Barrow Motors channel and what I believe is our third car of the week video. And this week I have chosen this 2011 Mercedes SLK 200. 200 makes it the 1.8 supercharged petrol engine, which gives you a pretty good combination of performance and economy. This particular engine being 184 brake horsepower, but still offering you up to 50 miles per gallon on a motorway run. And that practicality is one of the three areas that I think the Mercedes SLK shines in comparison to some of its competitors like the BMW Z4 and the Porsche Boxster. So practicality is area one. Area number two, I think is styling. I actually think that Mercedes have done really well with the styling on this and it just still looks quite timeless. It looks up to date, modern. It's a very smart thing. It's not gonna look out of place on any driveway. And the third area is features because while it's not a very sunny day today, it is in fact a balmy 16.5 degrees Celsius and very overcast. I'm still able to enjoy the car with the roof down because I've got my heated seats. I've got my patented Mercedes air scarf blowing warm air around my neck as well, kind of cocooning me in nice warm air while I enjoy having the roof down on my convertible sports car, which is why you've bought it in the first place. And talking of practicality again, there's quite a lot of good storage in here. So we've got a really good sized glove box. We've got little door pockets. We've got a pocket on the bulkhead here. We've got a center armrest where you can get plenty of stuff as well. And something that seems probably quite minor, but is important to me, especially in a sports car like this, is there are decent sized cup holders with a sliding cover, which is nice. So if you don't want to make use of it, you can slide it shut. But if like today, it's not the warmest of days, then you want to take your sports car out and treat yourself to a nice Costa, or in this case, I've got myself hot chocolate from our coffee machine at Barra Motors. You're welcome to try one. Hazelnut is definitely a favorite of mine. You have got somewhere to put your drink while you enjoy the car. A minor thing, but it's all well and good having a sports car that you want to enjoy. But if you can't use it in day to day life, it's not going to get much use, is it? Comfort wise, on top of the heated seats and the air scarf, and all that good stuff. It is actually a nice, comfortable ride. It's not so firm that it's gonna shake your fillings out and make you regret having taken this car. We're going through country lanes here, which are quite bumpy, especially around here, because we're on a sand base, which tends to erode away, leaving us with bumpy roads. And for someone who suffers of a bad back, I am incredibly comfortable. We've got a sat-nav system in here, which still feels quite fresh and modern. It will connect to your phone and do Bluetooth as well. Despite being a 2011, you've got a modern looking steering wheel as well. This is the facelift version to the previous ones. The Mercedes steering wheels all seem to be a bit bland and all black plastic, but these are quite nice and fresh with your steering wheel controls on there. And importantly, we have got cruise control as well, which is gonna make those longer journeys in this car just that much more bearable because you're not gonna be racing everywhere some of us just want to put the roof down and cruise to our destination wherever it is we're going. Another great thing with this car as well is having the screen here, which is surprising how much it keeps the kind of wind distortion out. So you could drive this at quite high speeds and it isn't going to cause you too much problem. It's not going to mess up. Like my perfect hair, for example, isn't going to get too messed up driving this. Now, while I am enjoying all of the creature comforts in here, I will put the roof up just so you can see how quickly this operates. And I can kind of demonstrate how having a hard roof on this rather than a canvas roof makes it like the perfect year-round convertible car because it's practically a coupe when the roof is up. So it drops the window so it doesn't interfere with anything. Hopefully you can just about see everything folding out of the boot. It latches itself completely so there's no kind of locks or anything to do which is always a nuisance and easily forgotten. And that is it, done. So then hopefully you can pick up on the fact that road noise for a convertible is actually quite minimal and we don't have that kind of noise coming from the canvas roof because obviously it doesn't have one. The other good news is as well is it just looks smart with the solid roof up as well. As I make this video, we have another one of these waiting to go out to a customer. It's all being fully prepped now, but it was more of a base spec. This one to me is the type of one that I think I would have because it's in this nice obsidian black. It's got the nice AMG alloy wheels and it's got this really nice cream interior as well. The whole thing is set up as a really nice package. 
it looks great and it still handles well despite having those bigger wheels on there so that is why I chose this as our car of the week and I stand by that because I think they are great little cars so a few little facts and figures just to wrap up then this car is ULES compliant so despite being a sports car and a convertible it is ULES compliant should you want to cruise around London or Bristol or any of those other affected cities you could do so without charge tax is going to set you back 255 pounds a year it would have been slightly less previously but as you probably know all of the tax bands have gone up recently the insurance group for this particular car is 41e and your 0 to 60 time using this automatic gearbox is going to be seven seconds which is actually pretty impressive Oh, and one thing you may be interested in is the speed at which you can put the roof down, so you do have to be stationary, it would seem. So, for the last section of our drive, I'm going to put the roof down, take it out of eco mode. I'll put our automatic gearbox into sport. And I'll leave you by saying that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more videos like this every week where we review our car of the week from the Shifting Metal YouTube channel, which is our main channel where we document life in the motor trade. If this car is still available, you'll be able to find all the pictures and all the information on our website, which is barrowmotors.co.uk. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook as well. And in fact, if you're looking to sell your car, I want to know how much you could get in part exchange and you can head to our car buying website, which is carsboughtformore.com. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.